So what's up YouTube? I'm back with another video today. Make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. I do fandom videos. Hence the name Johnny Fandom. You'd probably click this video because you saw a character that you like. And a fan that you like. So you wanted to check it out. Well, Make sure you comment down below your favorite fandoms, and I'll try to do more videos of that. Anyway, today we are talking about Goku. I am a big fan of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, all that. I grew up watching. I grew up watching Dragon Ball every Saturday. I grew up watching Dragon Ball Z. I didn't watch Dragon Ball GT. Just I didn't watch Dragon Ball GT, just because I, you know, don't care. But I started to watch Dragon Ball Super, and this show is great. It you know brings back the nostalgia of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z that I grew up and loved. So one thing I noticed about Goku throughout the years is a bit of goofball. You know, if you don't know much about Goku, he is essentially an alien from the planet Vegeta of a race of humanoid creatures that have a monkey tail and are super strong and they can transform into a monkey a giant 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 monkey at a full moon and Lord Frieza another alien attacked the planet Vegeta destroyed it and Goku was able to escape on a pod and land on earth very similar to how Superman's planet was destroyed and he became he came to Earth on a pod and was raised by farmers. Very similar. Well, Goku was raised sort of that he became in isolation with himself in the woods and fought a dinosaur or something. Anyway. Very much in isolation. Didn't really know much about anything. Very clueless. Basically raised himself. And learned, you know, how to fight from Master Roshi. But there was one funny scene in Dragon Ball, which just always had me laughing. But we'll get into that. Because before I go any further, make sure you throw a button and a sky button. And let's get into discussion about how Goku has no clue about the birds and bees. Let's see. Yeah. So, individual Dragon Ball, obviously Goku understands that he's a boy and there's females. Because when he meets Bulma, Bulma, you know, is passed out on the bed and Goku lifts up her skirt and smacks her like that in between the legs. I'll put the clip right here. Out, kid. We're not sleeping together. You're sleeping on the floor. Are you serious? Yes. You're used to roughing it, aren't you? A guy who eats centipedes shouldn't mind sleeping on the floor. I don't mind, but I hope it's not because you're still mad about not having a tail. Get it through your dick, right? I don't want a tail! Mr. Goku, why did you live with your grandpa anyway? I mean, what happened to your parents? I'm not sure what happened. My grandpa found me on a mountainside on a little bed of moss when I was just a baby, so he picked me up and took me home. <laughs> Did you know you don't have to keep a tail just because you were born with one? Some dogs actually get their tails cut off while they're still small. You shouldn't have let them do that to you, Bulma. You're no dog. I'm not talking about me, lame brain! I never had a tail! <sighs> I guess it's not time to get up yet. 
Ha! See, I told you there was enough room for both of us. <laughs> Strange. It feels like there's nothing there. Goku, you must have been dreaming. Man, you really had me scared. And yes, he says, no balls. He says, no balls, because she doesn't have any. And that's his, that's his indication that she doesn't have what he has, which is balls. So yeah, and he's innocent at young age, didn't really understand it fully. But as we move on to Super, you know, at this point he has two kids, Goten and Gohan. And it's just kind of odd because we see a scene where they're in another realm, I guess. Or another future timeline, and we see future chunks kissing a woman, and Goku's like, "Oh, you put your lips right on who like that? That's weird." And Vegeta's like, "Dude, you never kissed anyone before," and Goku's like. No, obviously. That's like weird. And Vegeta's like, dude, you're married and have kids. How do you not know what kissing is? So everybody's like, Goku doesn't know what the birds and the bees are. He doesn't know about sex. How do you not know about sex and have kids and don't know what kissing is? So I was to talk about there that the joke is that Chi Chi tells Goku it's um, a special form of training. But what if I told you it is a misconception between the, the Japanese dialect to the English translation and the way that they portrayed it in the show? Because we're going to get into it on what actually occurred in that scene and what was actually happening. Whoa! What was that, Trunks? You put your mouth on hers. That's so weird. Kakarot, you've never kissed someone? Huh? No, of course not. Why? You're married and have children. Yeah, duh, but what's that have to do with kissing? You... Oh, no way. No, tell me. Is that like something people do? Uh... <laughs> huh? So in that scene, they're helping out the injured in, in this village. And Future Trunks feeds a Zenzu bean to Mai via the mouth. Because obviously he wakes her, so he wants to give her a kiss. But he also helps feed her the, the Zenzu bean. A sensor bean is a little, basically, power-boosting bean that gives you a great big boost of energy and helps heal you and all sort of stuff. It's basically like a, a crack pill. Anyway, so Future Junks puts it in his mouth and kisses my and basically passes the bean into her mouth. Goku says, Whoa, Chunks. You actually put your mouth up against hers. And Vegeta says, you never done that? That being kissed. Goku, of course not. And in this term, Goku is saying, no, I've never given someone a Zetsu bean using my mouth. That's weird. 
Vegeta says, but you're married. Goku responds with, what does being married have to do with any of this? Meaning giving a sense of being to someone using the mouth. So with that being said, Goku, it's not that Goku didn't know what kissing was. It was what he was talking about versus what Vegeta thought. So Goku, in a sense, was being sarcastic because of the passing of the sense of being in such an odd manner. Vegeta just assumed that he was talking about the kissing part, not the bean part, if that makes sense. I'm going to get into one more detail about it in just a second. We need to take a break. Peach. Raise Energy is brought to you by Rep Sports. That's R E P P Sports. Make sure you go to repsports.com, buy yourself a nice Raise Energy drink that has zero sugars, zero calories, zero dyes, full of vitamins, full of focus, keeps you hydrated. It is the best. And also, Rep Sports, you can also get dietary supplements, pre workout mixes, and a ton of other great items. And if you go to repsports.com right now and use coupon code Johnny Huey, it will save you 15% off. Let's get back to the video after one more sip. Because you can't tell me that Goku didn't understand Birds and Bees, especially the fact that in Dragon Ball, he knew that Boys had balls and girls didn't. And then also, Master Roshi is definitely a perv and definitely taught them a few things because even the. Uh, no. So, I don't speak Japanese fully, but I do have a breakdown of here, and, you know, with Goku being sarcastic, there's not really a way to be sarcastic in a Japanese language, so that's why the miscommunication through the two languages happens. <coughs> so, Goku, in Japanese, I may pronounce this completely wrong, says, Ohiaya. Atsi yoko kuchi to kuchi wa katsukiri na. Which translates to, well, he stuck his mouth right against hers. Ome, and then Vegeta says, Ome, shiti kota nai no ka. You've never done that. Goku, nanani ho. Hmm, done what? Vegeta, so no kissy wo. You know, kissing. Ataime daro. Obviously, I have never done that in parentheses. I'll get to that. Jesus says, Momui E. Never mind. Atame Doro, basically. By, atame by itself means obviously. And Doro is a short version of Dare Ore of Doshi, which means it seems, don't you think it looks like? So basically, it's being sarcastic. It's basically the word that you're saying, saying at the sentence, like, I'm saying this, and you say, Doro, and you say, you know, I'm saying it sarcastically. So you're pronouncing yourself that you're being sarcastic. And then Vegeta would, you know, respond with, oh, never mind. 
So the mistranslation there definitely, you know, screws with it. So basically, Goku's like, obviously, you know, <laughs> what do you think? So yeah, so basically Goku is being sarcastic, but it doesn't translate over well between the Japanese and the English, and that's why when we see the dub version, it almost makes Goku look like an idiot and not know what kissing is. He also could be, like I said before, describing a different scenario, saying that, you know, I've never seen someone put the lips against someone to give them a sensu bean and that's what Fujiro was talking about you know kissing but he was talking about the passing of the bean so if you speak Japanese and you could actually you know read the original Japanese uh, manga of this scene and you could actually translate it for me I'd love for you to comment down below and help me out with this if you have any thoughts about this or any insight on Goku and the birds and the bees Please comment that down below. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. <sighs> hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you don't miss another video. And I will see you guys next one. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. This is my first Dragon Ball video. Uh, Dragon Ball Universe video on this channel. So... Make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button if you want to see more. And check out this video over here and that playlist down there. And check out my merch shelf down below. And I'll see you guys next one.